Greetings, Brothors and Sistars of the Light. We have a very interesting article here released from Space.com. This is another sign synchronicity with these great Earth shifts and strange space anomalies coming at us through this great shift of the ages into the new golden age of eternal life. So we have something very strange here happening with Earth's magnetic field tail. This is the tail that extends behind the Earth away from the sun. So we have this electromagnetic field, this toroidal field, this torus that surrounds Mother Earth. And this article is from Rahul Rao, published May 20th, 2024. Something strange is happening with Earth's magnetic field tail. It's called the magneta, magneta tail, magneta tail, <laughs> of course. You may not know this, but Earth's magnetic field has a tail. As the sun solar wind buffets the planet, it leaves behind a sort of long shadow that trails out in our planet's wake. It's a wake field that extends out from the planet, from planet Earth. The uh, scientists call this magnetic tail appropriately the magneta tail. Uh, typically, the magneta tail is strewn with magnetic storms. But for the past several years, scientists have known of a mystery in the magneto tail, a missing storm. They have found a signature of a storm, but no storm to actually go along with it. Another great mystery here. Some very mysterious things happening as we enter into the twilight zone, as we navigate in between worlds. NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale MMS mission is now on the case. MMS consists of four satellites that all launched on the same Atlas V rocket in 2015. Since then, the quartet has been studying Earth's magneta pause, the frontier of the region dominated by the planet's magnetic field. The magneta pause is constantly aflame with magnetic reconnections, which refer to when the lines that make up a magnetic field come together, they merge together, these field lines. They break apart and then rejoin, creating brilliant flurries of heat and kinetic energy. These reconnections, if they happen in Earth's atmosphere, can cause auroras. Now, this is part of the solar storms, and this is part of these massive auroras that we've been seeing this month of May 2024. Scientists call these flurries substorms. In 2017, MMS spotted the trademark magnetic reconnection of a substorm, but no actual substorm to go along with it. Very strange indeed. A substorm should come with violent electric currents and magnetic field fluctuations, but MMS spotted traces of neither. We have not looked at the movement of the magnetic field lines on a global scale, so it could be that this unusual substorm was a very localized occurrence that MMS happened to observe, said Andy Marshall, a postdoc at the Southwest Research Institute. In a statement, if not, it could reshape our understanding of the relationship between tailside reconnection and substorms. So for the next year, MMS will measure the magnetic reconnection in Earth's real magnetic field, while scientists on the ground conduct simulations of the magnetic field to understand how it behaves. By comparing the two, the scientists hope they can solve the mystery by better understanding the precise relationship between reconnection and the events they cause. It's possible that significant differences exist between the global magnetotail convection patterns for substorms and non-substorm tail reconnection, Marshall said. This originally from space.com. We'll post a link to our website, primedisclosure.com, in the video below. If you're interested in connecting with your star families, your star nations, we have a very special transmission uh, which we'll put the link below in this video to our Patreon page where we teach this very beautiful Andromedan art to connect with your star families or you could purchase it on our website amidaguru.com and whitegoldeagle.com is our Patreon page if you'd like to support us there and white gold our eaglelovecondor.com is if you'd like to send us a donation to help us uh, continue bringing 
uh, videos and transmissions such as this one today. So thank you all very much for joining us today. Have a most beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.